Snow plows have been busy pretty much all day working to keep the roads as safe as possible for drivers. In fact, right now, there are more than 100 MnDOT plows out there clearing nearly 1,500 miles of state roads. ABC 6 News reporter Megan Stewart takes us to the streets during one of the most intense parts of today's storm. Monday's road conditions were the kind that put drivers on edge. Roads partially and fully covered with snow. The powdery kind that blows across the blacktop and into the air. Making it hard to see. But for plow drivers, that's not the only problem. In town, I get all the street lights, which you'll notice on part of the road. As it gets darker, where there's lights, it's easier to see. Where there isn't lights, you're guessing where the road is. John Luzzi is here to help drivers stay safe on the roads. He's part of the more than 100 MnDOT plow drivers out in southeast Minnesota, responsible for nearly 1,500 miles of roadway, working 12 to 16 hour shifts and holidays. But he says drivers typically aren't grateful and sometimes make his job harder. Traffic in general, just not giving us our space and just backing off. You know, they're usually right on our butt and it's kind of tough to watch them in your mirror because you don't want them to hit you or you don't want to hit them. But for those drivers who do venture out, Lutzi has one suggestion. If everybody would slow down, I think everything would be better. If everybody could just slow down. In Rochester, Megan Stewart, ABC 6 News. There are more than a dozen crashes a year in southeast Minnesota involving snow plows. Most of them are vehicles running into the back of the plows. Keep in mind, snow plows are considered a mobile work site. Those who don't use caution can be ticketed.